This is insane right here. If we don't get kicked out here shortly. Here he comes, right behind us too. I saw y'all getting those fishing rods. Let's see if there's some fishing here. Oh my God, first cast, first cast, drags loose. First cast. <laughs> that might take me one. Three days, three nights. Three nights, two days. <laughs> oh, you thought we were gonna be here for two weeks with all this luggage? No. <laughs> Take it easy, because this Yeti doesn't have a lot of good. Oh, <laughs> I'm sliding. Oh, shit. Got the fishermen here to get the fish. Yep. Set up and uh, See if we don't get kicked out here shortly. That's the name of the game on this channel, man. Getting kicked out. Who are you with? You been advised you again? We will have you arrested. We're about to find out. <laughs> Away. We found the secret code of pond. Yo, this is insane right here. That looks so good. A little breeze, breeze. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here at Coda. Thanks to Pierre with Red Bull inviting us out to fish a pond that I hear has never been fished before we got moto gp going on in the background you can probably hear him running around the track and we are about ready to fish a pond that potentially holds trophy fish they said it's never been fished i don't believe it it looks too juicy you can't tell me there's not giants lurking in the shadows right here join us as we fish circuit of the americas y'all it's going to be a time let's go ahead and get right into it the bass should be feeding up assuming there is fish in here Devin just handed me all the rods we got a few uh different baits lined up starting off with the lipless crankbait i'm gonna try and cover some water i hear the motorcycles man they are ripping down the track right now i don't know the depth i don't know nothing man i hear this place has never been fished let's see if there's some fish in here oh my god first cast first cast drags loose first cast Pierre is loaded, bro! Let's go! I think I forgot the pliers. Hey, it's looking bad for you if you keep doing that, man. Ah, oh, geez, we got the top and bottom lift. This is not what you want. Sick! Circuit of the Americas. There's fish, let's go! Woo! The advantage of this and the high winds is that those bass are probably on the move and there's so much flash with the shotgun shad color. Probably my favorite color in the lipless crankbait from Guggen Squad. This is the clutch treble hook, so you're not gonna miss them. Absolutely perfect, and it's got that rattle. Perfect for the wind. These fish can't see very well right now because it's so blurry with all the commotion in the water, and so they can key in on the sound too. Devin's on as well. I don't even think she has a GoPro. No way! Pierre's on now, y'all. It's been five minutes. We're three fishing. Absolutely insane. What do you got, dude? First cast. No it's way. Quit one. lying. Yeah. There you go. Golly. Woo. Turns out there is fish in this place, man. Who'd have thought? I don't know how they got in here. You know what I mean? I don't know if these things were stocked or if maybe some birds were just carrying one and eggs got dropped in this place, but it's loaded. <laughs> Deep into the grass. Pierre said the fish love the motorsports, man. Get some riled up and ready to bite. Hold up a minute. You're busting out the fly. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. In the high winds, y'all. Wish them luck. Fly fishing circuit of the Americas. I can't say you've seen this before, y'all. Be sure to subscribe. Drop a like. Let's catch some more. Cut it out. Couldn't even turn off the camera. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. First cast on the fly. Did you even, like, strip it all? Or was it just floating there? Two strips. So far they've all been small y'all. I'm getting worried. I wonder if there's any big ones in here. No way. I have to show y'all something. Ah, biggest of the day for sure on, I can't quite tell you what that is supposedly yet. Here you go. I think I got the latest and greatest. Bam. Blazing worm, sir. No way, right off the bat. We haven't seen it, I'm trying to block the wind. Oh, there we go! He's taking him into the reeds. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> Is he gonna land it? Yeah! Oh. No way. Let's go. Let's go. Nux, Nux fish on. bump. <laughs> Is that your first time hitting the chatter bait? This is my first time on the chitter chatter. Bam! Okay, off he goes. Oh God, bro! Right by the bank! Blazing worm, baby, come on! Oh my 
my gosh! Right at the bank! <laughs> we found, and that's the shad chatterbait. So that bright color, just like the lipples we were throwing. Chatterbait for the win. Do you want to try one of these chatterbaits for something different? Go back. There you go. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. What am I working with? Come on up, girl. Little chunk. Good little fight. Bye. All right, guys, got a good one on the chatterbait. Bye, little tight. Literally running on a couple hours of sleep. Oh, got one, got one. How am I gonna land it? It's in the reeds. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's a good one, bro. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> I'm trying not to step on your fly rod. Solid one by Pierre, let's go, oh, man. Chatterbait pulling through. Saucy swimmer on the back. Here we go with the release. And I'll have to make yep, her jump a little bit. Choo! There you go, safe and sound. Nice work. Woo! I'm telling you what, man, it's a great day out here in Austin, Texas. We're on a little bit of a time crunch, y'all. We're going for that five plus. We got about 30 more minutes. Wish us luck. Do you see all the motor oil? Oh. No wonder these things are like mutated. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, right? Right Total. next to the... Go, baby. I gotta hit that bank. There's some more shallow water with some brush. Gotta have some fish. All right, we're just gonna... We're just gonna make a risky cast over there. Oh, oh, I... Do I have one? I think I've got one. I think... I can't tell. I can't... I got one. I got a fish. Oh, I hear the speaker. I don't know if we're getting kicked out. See ya, bud. Oh, fish, fish, there we go. Come on, oh no. I didn't really set the hook. I thought maybe it was grass. That was my downfall. Sometimes y'all, if you get a fish on and you don't feel like you gave it a nice hook set, especially on like, this is a go-to rod. So it's like a moderate tip. You kind of want to get a second hook set just to make sure you're really linked up. Cause I, what happened is that fish ate this bait and we were fighting it, but the, it wasn't actually hooked. So if I would have yanked it a second time, just thinking maybe it was a fish, it would have penetrated the lip and we would have actually brought him home. So we missed that one just because we were unsure, thinking it was grass. Hook sets are free. If that was a big one, we would have been devastated. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. And if you feel like you got a fish, potentially just give him a nice little whack and bring him home. Oh, whack. Okay, well, uh, apparently don't whack him. That doesn't work either. <laughs> Almost want to try a frog on this one. Got him, got him. Oh. Okay, there we go, on the big swim bait. Oh no, it came off. That's a bummer, man. I think that was the one we were looking for. I think you've seen a couple sneak peeks of this bait with Chris Zaldane and the Googans, and uh, we went for it. Sent it with the big bait. Decided we were gonna dedicate some time, creeping it slow, got that hit. Smashed it, man, and it came off. Unfortunate, that literally was a giant. There we go, another nice one, dude. And down. Not just let it there hanging out, but this little thing is just like crossing it. That's just a broken, yeah. a broken worm, right? Recycling, check it out. That's a broken one. <laughs> That's hilarious. You have a little weight, which is good. If you're yeah. using a big weight, then it just kind of gets caught up in all the stuff. Got it. But now you've got enough to cast throughout the wind. Just for just for the people at home, he's got just a tiny weight on there, probably an eighth ounce, so he can get a good casting distance. And it's going to sink down to the bottom, but you're not going to go into the grass and get stuck just because it's light, right? So you want a heavier weight if you're fishing deep or if there's maybe a harder bottom. But with this grass, that lighter weight is key. No, it's a, it's a blue What? Field. It's a huge bluegill, dude. Dude, it is. It hit the blazing worm. The That's size. a freaking massive, like, bluegill or sunfish or whatever. Get to sunfish. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Should I throw a frog? You said that one hit a topwater? I would. Okay. All right, I'm closing it out with some topwater. Have barely fished any of it all year. Uh, I would throw a popper, but like I said, we don't have the pliers, so it's going to be tough to unhook these fish if we catch one on it. So I'm throwing the popping frog because it's so windy. I want a little bit more disturbance than the walking frog. I've got... I've got a walking frog right here, but that's just not going to cut it with this high wind. So I want something again that's going to cause a little bit more vibration. A couple of these fish have really been on the move and I think we can get some top water action to close things out. Water's warm down here in Austin, Texas. It was like almost 90 degrees today. I think chances are high if I can get close to the reed edges, I might just catch a big one on the popping frog. Got him. Oh my God. 
No way. No. It's sliding. No way, dude. Yeah, it's right. Easy, with, easy with it. Easy with around. it. It's okay. Easy with it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh dude, thick. Sometimes what I'll do, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work, but if you push from this side. There, oh, there you go. go. It's just a little leverage. Bamboozle, baby. That thing's plump. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, girl. Here we go. Go have fun. Go back. Ah, come on. You ready? There you go. Yep. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Can't even talk. Wacky Riz. Wacky rigging the blazing worm, man. We can't talk down here in Austin, I guess. Apparently, Ooh. working it like a like a Sanko. Blazing worm doing work, y'all. It's catching hydrilla. It's catching sunfish. It's catching bass. It does it all. <laughs> oh, go! Oh, gosh! Right here on the reed edge. Hold up. Got him. Oh no, he came off. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh no! I don't know what this is, y'all. This might be a good one. Oh boy. Oh, on the frog. No, no, no. That was a good one. What the heck? No, that one could have been five plus. It felt huge. Dang it. On the frog at sunset. Gosh, dang it. All right, I'm giving him more time. One, two, three. Okay, that was the trick. These frogs, man, like I say, I haven't fished much top water this year. Finally connected on the frog. Gee whiz. I'm looking for the giants and I definitely should have thrown that fish in like not right here because this spot with that isolated grass patch right there definitely holds more than one fish and I just completely ruined it. Learn from my mistakes, y'all. That is why you subscribe right there. If I catch fish right now, I'm gonna be blown away because I figure I just scared them all. <sighs> oh. Got him. There we go. That might be a good one. Out there in the middle. What do we got? Oh, it's gonna be tough. There we go. Woo! Another one on the frog out there off the grass. Come on, baby. That might actually close it out. We just decided to skip the dinner reservations and fish coda till the end because we might never get this opportunity again and i might never fish again if i can't learn how to use hooks there we go boys what a crazy day coda is loaded literally don't tell anybody about this place because i want to come back here and be able to catch these things and i know the second anyone tries this it's going to get pressured you already know i can barely catch fish anyways so in a pressured pond i'm definitely screwed what a day y'all we are wrapping things up these Coda Ponds are absolutely loaded, Peter. We thank you for the invite. It's been a day. Anytime, guys. I appreciate you coming. Now we have a moto fan and a big uh, pro angler. Yep. Right <laughs> <laughs> and if y'all didn't know, Pierre actually lives in our area, so you'll be yeah. seeing him uh, on the vlog, I'm sure, many times in the future. We're going to take him to some great spots. Uh, it's been Sweet. a pleasure down here at Coda. We are going to go ahead and wrap things up as the sun sets. Beautiful pond behind us. We hope to hit again in the future. We'll see yeah, if we yeah. can gain some more access. We appreciate it for today, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Yeah.